Betty Eats Paige and today's video is going to be a video that I have been wanting to do for so long now and I decided that since it's February and I just got my hands on the Jaclyn Cosmetics Valentine's Day collection that it would be the perfect time to finally film a video where I try to follow someone's makeup tutorial so I decided to try to follow a Jaclyn Hill Valentine's Day makeup tutorial Whew, that will be a long title. I'm not sure how I'm gonna word that, but hopefully I figure it out by the time I post this video. <laughs> but I already have all of my products that I'm going to be using in today's video laid out in front of me. I didn't have every single one that she used in the video, so I sort of had to replace a few of them. But I will have the video that I am attempting to follow linked in the description box. It is a little bit of an older one. It's like four years old, but I loved the look that she did and I thought it would be fun to give it a try. So if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I have the video pulled up. I have a headphone in just so that I can work with the audio and you don't hear the video twice. Um, so I'm gonna have her like on the screen throughout the video and like I said this video will be linked down below so if you just want to like watch her tutorial and like really learn how to do it then you can watch that one this is again just me attempting to follow this I don't know how this is gonna go because I already like pre-watched it to pick out the products and it's very different than how I typically do my makeup so here we go It's crazy, people used to do those little montages all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by priming my face, of course. I'm using the Guerlain Primer. Whatever primer you want for your skin needs, go ahead and slap that bad boy on. So I don't have that primer, but I do have the YSL, I don't even know what this is called, but it looks very similar, it's like, a clear primer with like gold sparkles in it so that's what I'm gonna be using today I don't know if the formulas are similar at all I just am going for it since it looks similar and like she said any primer that you want to use will work I do not have the same skin type as Jaclyn so <laughs> this is a little bit risky for me um, I do have much more I, I recently I would say more normal to oily skin but definitely still oily and she says several times through the video that she does have drier skin so I don't know if these techniques are gonna work out necessarily for me like wearing my makeup long term but we're still gonna give it a go I'm also gonna take some makeup forever smoothing primer as well and put that in the center of my face because I definitely am battling some texture right now so I'm gonna take pretty generous amount of that and I'm going to put it right in this area around my nose. Again, I don't have this product so I picked out the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer since this is like a pore filling primer. Um, I don't think I've ever tried that makeup for everyone and also I never apply more than one primer. <laughs> so this is an interesting technique for me to try because this is like I just have never even considered the thought so I'm just gonna take this and kind of put it where I have larger pores so basically like on my cheek area here and she said she has some texture right now which I always have texture so um, you know it's, I, it's my daily life <laughs> I actually am also gonna put a little bit up here because I've actually been experiencing like a lot of texture in my forehead area. I'm gonna be using the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. It's my favorite foundation ever, but I actually wanted to use something different for today's look, but I can't because I don't have my shade in any other foundation currently than the Vanish one. So I do have the Hourglass, wow, I probably just broke it. I'm pretty sure I dropped something in every single one of my videos. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I do have the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. However, I do not think this is my right shade. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is way too dark. It's in the shade Nude. So I'm just gonna, I've never used this before, so I'm just gonna swipe it on the back of my hand. Oh, heck no. That is way too deep. Um, okay, so that's not gonna work. Um, I do have the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation, so I figured that the shade might not work for me. So I am going to go in with this shade. I have the shade Chai. Um, this one is still, like, not my perfect shade, but it's definitely less orangey than <laughs> the Hourglass one. So I'm going to go in with this one, but I definitely want to try to get this in my shade so that I can finally try it and give it a fair shot because I have no idea 
if I like that. And now that I know I love this stick foundation, I feel like I could potentially really like the Hourglass one. I'm gonna be using shade Ivory and shade Bisque and just drawing stripes on my face. I know it looks like I'm applying a lot of foundation, that's because I am applying a lot of foundation. <laughs> um, but the thing that I love about this Hourglass Vanish Foundation is I honestly feel like you can put so much on and like it never gets cakey. It doesn't build up or get slimy. I don't know. It's weird, but that's why it's my favorite. I'm going to be adding in the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. They come in several different shades. I am using the shade Celestial because it is the lightest one. So I don't have these drops anymore but I used to and this makes me so mad because I just recently decluttered them like in December so the only sort of like shimmer drops I have are these ones from Becca these are the champagne pop ironically enough um, just like drops highlighter drops so um, this is what I'm going to be using instead and what I'm gonna do is just with the dropper I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand I'm gonna be using a much smaller brush than normal. I'm gonna be using a small synthetic guy like this. I learned this tip from Nicole, known as Lipstick Nick. She did my makeup when I was out in LA for a photo shoot, and she was using this tiny little brush, and I was like, what are you using? And she's like, it's the Morphe E8. I love using this to apply foundation. I was like, interesting. And I loved the way my foundation looked. So now I've been using a small synthetic brush and I love it. And this is the Morphe Y10 from like their gold collection. So I'm going to just pick up a little bit of that highlighter on the brush. I'm gonna tap off a little bit because that's just a wee bit I'm too much. Scared. I'm gonna begin just to blend this out. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that highlighter on the back of my hand on the brush and then just do the same thing to the other cheek. And if you weren't gonna use a stick foundation and you wanted to do this, all you would do is just mix it all together on the back of your hand. You would do like a couple pumps of your foundation on the back of your hand and then a small drop of the highlighter and then just mix it together and then apply it on your face. But I'm doing it this way since I used a stick foundation. This is super interesting. I have never tried to blend out my foundation with a brush like this. I typically am a beauty sponge person um and if i do use a brush i would go for like a flat top like s dense kind of like kabuki type brush um so this is super weird and i didn't think <laughs> that this would actually blend out my foundation because it doesn't feel very stiff it's sort of a little bit like i don't know it's dense but it's not like as dense as i would think it would need to be um, in order to like blend out a stick foundation since it's not as liquidy, but this is actually working really well and I'm mixing in the shimmer drops, which Again was another thing I was nervous about but I mean so far it doesn't look bad It actually gives my skin a really pretty glow, which I'm liking all right Well, my skin doesn't look bad. It doesn't look as good as Jacqueline's <laughs> But I also do have acne prone skin and I'm dealing with quite a few breakouts at the moment But so far I'm not mad. All right I'm gonna be trying a different concealer today And this is the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place flawless wear concealer My friend Jackie told me that she loves this so once again I don't have this concealer but spoiler alert She didn't end up liking it and she actually mentions in the video that her ride or die at this point in time was the Tarte Shape Tape, so I figured I would use the sharp <laughs> the Tarte Shape Tape. <laughs> oh my god! Um, and I have this in the shade Light Neutral. You guys have absolutely no idea how hard it is for me to try a new concealer when I am so dedicated to a like current one. Like right now, the Tarte Shape Tape is my everything. So just putting this on my face, I'm like, what am I doing? Like it, I don't know. I am so crazy about concealers, but. I need to start branching out and trying more things. I need to get it together. I'm gonna just grab a damp beauty sponge and just blend that out and let's see how it looks. Oh my gosh, I just love a damp beauty sponge. I swear to God. I feel like it's a tool that I will never be able to give up. Nothing blends out my under eye like a damp I beauty agree. sponge. So I'm really not the biggest fan of Tarte Shape Tape. I feel like it's kind of overhyped in my opinion. I have had this concealer for a really long time and it's never been like a ride or die for me and I'm always like, why don't I like it as much as everybody else? But again, makeup products work differently for different people. So um, yeah, I'm giving it another try. I don't think I hate it, but I'm excited to 
play around with it again since it's been a while. All right, now I'm just gonna take some RCMA No Color Translucent I can't Powder. Believe I still you have know this. it just on the tip of my damp beauty blender, and yes, the beauty blender is still damp. Just make sure that it's not soaking. I mean, if your beauty blender is really, really damp, it's not gonna apply your concealer or your powder right. So make sure that there's no excess water in it that you totally wring it out. <laughs> That's a lot of powder. And then you'll be able to use any powder you want. And I think the damp beauty sponges apply powder so beautifully. This powder is old. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I bought this because of Jaclyn Hill. And this was, like, we're talking probably five, six years ago, like a long time ago, and this is still my original one. I'm pretty sure I ordered it from like the Beauty Bay website because like that's the only place that I could find it. Um, <laughs> and this was like, I was still in school, like this was a long time ago. I guess I wasn't in school that long ago, <laughs> but I was probably in like, Mm, like my maybe my first year of college something like that now I'm gonna take some cover FX translucent powder and I'm going to just very lightly like from the cap just take a little bit and just super duper lightly put this on my face I don't want to like add any coverage or anything I just want to make sure that everything I applied is gonna stay in place I think I went in with a little more RCMA powder than she did because I can definitely see a white cast but um, I'm going to go in with the F21 from my collaboration with Bling Brushes. You can use code PAGE for 10% off. And I am going into the Cover FX powder. Again, this is something that I never, ever, ever, ever would have thought to do, is to use two powders on my face at the same time. I don't know if I'm just, like, lazy or <laughs> if, like, I just am close-minded about my makeup. And once I, you know, find something I like, I stick to it. But... I'm really excited to be trying all of these new techniques. Now, I am someone who typically uses a lot of powder because I am a bit more oily, but I'm gonna try to stick true to the tutorial and just kind of go in with a little bit just to set the base so that our other products blend properly on top. All right, now I'm gonna fill in my brows. Normally I do eyeshadow and then brows, but recently I've just been getting crazy, y'all. I've been getting crazy up in here and do my brows first. So I'm gonna just comb everything upward with the spoolie and then just begin to fill in where I see needed. Can you imagine if I left my brows like this? Would you guys still love me? The lawn people are here at my apartment. Just so you guys know, so if you hear a freaking weed whacker in the background, that's what that is. Um, she didn't say what she was using, but I can tell from the video that it is the Anastasia <gasps> Beverly Hills. Wow, two things I dropped in one video. New record. Um, actually, probably not. <laughs> uh, but I can tell it's the ABH Brow Definer. So this is like the thicker of their two brow pencils, which I actually have this, but after I just like opened it, I don't think I've ever used it before. I love like skinny, precise brow pencils personally because I only use them like to basically fill in the tails of my brows and like make them a little bit more even and I just feel like it's easier when you have a precise point but I'm trying out the brow definer <laughs> I've used similar pencils to this but I just don't think I've had or used the ABH one so I'm actually gonna wait on the clear brow gel which again different technique for me but Jacqueline actually makes a really good point in this video for today's eye look I'm gonna be playing with the new color pop single eyeshadows which I am so excited to play with so I don't have these color pop single shadows I don't even know if these are still available because like I said this is an older video but I actually picked out two palette options in case you guys are interested in recreating this look yourself for this coming Valentine's Day which by the Way, happy early Valentine's Day I'm pretty sure I'm gonna post this video today so I think today's like the 11th and I wanted to get this up in time to give you guys an idea for a fun Valentine's Day look or even if you're not like celebrating Valentine's Day like you know it's always fun to get dressed up <laughs> so um, I picked two palette options we have the bare necessities from Colourpop and then also the OG Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette the uh, bare necessities palette looks like this I love this palette it so much it's definitely one of my favorites from ColourPop it is a little bit more pricey for a ColourPop palette I think it's like around 30 35 dollars but you get so many shadows and for the value the price is amazing and there's so many fun nudes in here like neutrals there's also some pops of like purpley tones some warmer tones some cooler tones I just think it's a great neutral natural palette so this is awesome for every day and then of course we have the og jaclyn hill palette this is like my og og one from 
I don't even know how many years ago. <laughs> I actually recently picked up a new one, but I thought I would use this one in today's video. So this also has tons of neutrals and like similar shades to what she's using in this video. So um, I think I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette since we're recreating. Oh, since we're recreating a Jaclyn Hill video, but um, yeah. I'll, feel free to use any natural palette that you have. I'm gonna start off with the lightest matte brown, and this is in the shade Wake Up Call. I'm just gonna apply that to my crease area with a fluffy brush. So I guess she doesn't use an eye primer, which is gonna be hard for me because I always use an eye primer. My favorite is the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. Um, but I am gonna go in to this light brown shade from her palette. I don't know what the name is, and I feel so bad, but the names are like not on here at all. They're not on the front. They're not on the back. I'm pretty sure the updated packaging has names, but this palette does not. So <laughs> I'm going to use the this like third shade right here. Actually, I lied. I'm going to use the fourth shade, which is this one. It's similar, but I feel like it's just like has a little bit more pink in there. I'm just going to place this right in that outer corner and then just dust it in this whole crease area. I'm not really going too much into the inner corner. I'm staying more out here. And then once I basically have nothing left on my brush, that's when I'll just like slightly swoop it in this area. Oh boy. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I'm going to add a little bit more product. Um, so I'm just kind of doing little like circular motions in the outer corner here. And then like she said, kind of swooping in when you don't have much product left on your brush. I feel like Hers looks a little bit deeper than mine, so I'm gonna add like a little bit more product. I'm just gonna build it up until I feel like it looks like hers. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna pick up Note to Self, which is a little bit deeper and more of like a caramel brown. This color is so pretty. I'm gonna use this shade right here. I'm just gonna layer that right over top of what we just did, but just packing it on this lower crease a little bit more, not lower crease, sorry, outer corner of the lid a little bit more, just to deepen that up and then swoop it up into the crease. I just realized that I got a phone call while I was filming and it caused my screen recording to cancel. So um, my entire screen recording up until now is gone into the universe never to be seen again um so i'm gonna have to screen record this again after i film and it's just gonna make it harder for me but it is what it is all right now i'm gonna pick up this really dark kind of neutral brown and this is in the shade cloud nine i got eyeshadow all over myself i'm gonna use this shade and on a small definer brush like this guy right here i'm going to just put that on the upper lash line I want this to be the darkest on the outer portion of the eye and so once I get to the center in the inner corner I'm gonna go really really lightly because I don't want it to be as pigmented in that area. So she really like thickens it up in the outer corner which again this is definitely not a technique that I would typically go for but it's almost like you're doing a wing but like you're like you know chickening out at the end and you're not <laughs> I'm not uh, like an eyeliner person so this is definitely out of my comfort zone but she also goes and takes like a fluffy brush and kind of like just like smokes it out a little bit just to make sure she doesn't have any harsh lines so that's gonna kind of be what I do as well all right, and now for the lid, I'm going to go in with some shimmer so we can make this very feminine and dainty and girly. And I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to be using You Know the <laughs> Drill, and I'm also going to mix it mm. with Let Me Explain because I like them both. This one's like a little bit darker of a champagne, and this one's like a lighter champagne. So I'm going to mix them together and apply those to the lid. So she doesn't really have the darker champagne in this palette. Um, I'm just gonna swatch these first two shades here and just kind of see if this is what I'm looking for. Oh, they're so freaking pigmented. So, um, I think I might mix a couple of her shades. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this shade here, which is even darker than the one that she's using. Um, but I'm just gonna use a little bit of that and mix it with this first shade here. So these two, I'm just gonna use like a flat shader brush and I'm just gonna kinda tap <laughs> back and forth between those. Okay, yes. 
These are pretty nice. I feel like mine looks so much like whiter than hers. Like the shimmer is a lot like more white, <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm gonna take a little precision brush like this. I have been <laughs> obsessed with little brushes recently just to get nice and tight into certain areas. And I'm going to just take that dark brown and just emphasize a little bit of it and just make sure that this outer area, not taking it up high, nice and low, is just gonna make sure that it's got like a oomph. I'm gonna make sure that like this really lower outer corner, just right here, not up in the crease, but just super low, just has that depth. See on this eye how it doesn't have like a lot of depth right there? Which it's fine if you want to keep it soft like that, but I just want to get in there and make sure that just that outer corner is nice and dark. Just for like a little bit of like a sexier, more smoldering, sultry look. It's so weird. I feel like I'm like not talking. I'm going to apply some mascara now so that my lashes are nice and black. I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. This is like my favorite mascara. Well, it's not my favorite, but it's my favorite drugstore mascara. I still prefer the Pat McGrath um, Fetish Eyes Mascara, but this one is so freaking good. So I was going to go in with lashes, but I think I'm just going to stick to mascara because I feel like they look good enough with this mascara. And when I look back, have I ever worn lashes on a Valentine's Day? because it was Valentine's Day? No, <laughs> I haven't. I used to love lashes, but they're just like not my thing anymore. I mean, I still um, love them and I think they're beautiful, but I just haven't been wearing them as much and it's been a nice break. And I do want to get back into incorporating them into more of my looks, but I think for today I will just do mascara and leave it at that my camera battery died but we're back now we're doing the rest of our face which this is so weird because i always do eyes last so i do like foundation concealer powder bronzer blush then i usually do brows eyes and i finish off with like highlight lips and setting spray so I feel like I should be done now, but we haven't done any like bronzer, highlighter, blush, anything like that. So now moving on to the face, I'm going to be contouring using the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. It looks like this. I know I've used the highlight before, but I don't think I've ever actually used this like bronzing sculpting shade. So let's hope it looks pretty. I think they actually just recently came out with a mini version of this product. So if you don't want to buy the full size because it is pretty expensive, you can go in or purchase the smaller like mini version and try it out. For blush, I'm going to be using Becca Cosmetics Flower Child. I want my cheeks definitely to have like a pink blushing very girly vibe so she used the becca blush and i don't have that i feel like i might have had that before but i definitely don't have it now so for blush i decided to pick the laura mercier blush color infusion in the shade strawberry i love this blush formula and this is a really pretty like pinky blush and definitely gives me valentine's day vibes so i'm just gonna take some of this and apply it to my cheeks to get that pinky like girly look or whatever she said <laughs> just taking that same damp beauty sponge as earlier and just kind of carving out this is not something what i just do. apply to keep it nice and clean i pretty much do this no matter what unless it's just like day to day and i'm using a huge fluffy bronzer brush just to apply bronzer kind of everywhere i always carve this out just to clean it up so that it doesn't look messy I'm going to put in some clear brow gel while I'm letting that sit so I can get these brows under control. So now it's time for the clear brow gel. So um, I usually do my clear brow gel right after I do my brows and I do my brows before I do eyeshadow. And sometimes I will get eyeshadow like in my brow bone area, like my shimmery highlight shade. And then it gets in my brow and then my brows are already like crunchy from the clear brow gel. So it just kind of gets really messy. So waiting until like the very end or almost the very end to do this is so smart. And again, not something that I would have ever personally done or thought of. So that is something that I will take from this video and try to incorporate into my daily makeup routine. I'm gonna grab the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Luminous Light, one of my favorite highlighting powders if you want a really like natural, subtle glow. I just love this one so much. It's what like all the women in my family use. I'm gonna grab a big brush and what I'm gonna do is basically just dust this 
almost everywhere like on all of my high points because it's so subtle but it's just gonna give you like honestly a glow from within it's just gonna give you inner radiance it's not gonna be like BAM highlight it's just gonna give you a really pretty soft feminine glow so I actually don't have this I have some other hourglass highlighting products but I thought it would be better instead of substituting that with another hourglass product to substitute it with a Jaclyn Cosmetics product so I have the luminous powder in the shade do me and this is I feel like similar in my mind it's similar um, it's like a very luminous powder but it's not like it's not like her little mini beams where it's that intense and metallic looking so um, I'm just gonna take some of this on a small brush like this and we're gonna do what she does and I'm gonna go back to that Charlotte Tilbury highlighting and contour palette I'm gonna grab a really light amount of this highlight because it, it is already a really really subtle shade but I'm going to just put a pinch right there at the tops of the cheekbones so instead of doing that, I decided to take Jacqueline's highlighter from her Valentine's Day collection in the shade Twinkle, and I'm going to take a little bit of this and pop this like right, right here on like the highest part of my cheek. Look at that. I like have never put a luminous powder all over my face like this before, but it looks so pretty and my cheeks look like they, I don't know. I look so awake and I love the way how the highlighter is like all in here because I put it under the eye. Something about that is so pretty. So I'm just taking some of Twinkle. And if you don't have Twinkle, you can use um, your flash palette if you have that, or you can use the Charlotte Tilbury or whatever highlighter you want. All right, and now for lips, I'm going to be using one of the new Morphe liquid lipsticks in the shade Morphe. It's cute, <laughs> right? Because like Morphe red, okay. Use my code, please use my code. <laughs> it's funny because she says one of the new Morphe liquid lipsticks, but like they literally don't even have that packaging anymore, I'm pretty sure. So I don't have the Morphe liquid lipstick. I don't know if that still exists, but I do have this. And this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Committed. And it looks like a very similar red. It's like a very hot, fiery, but cool toned red, just like a true red and i'm so excited to put this on um but i did pick up some other red liquid lips in case you don't have this one just to give you some ideas but again any red lip would work if you prefer the fiery one go for that one like the orangey undertone um but i have this koki liquid lipstick in the shade boss lady this is a really pretty red the Lunar Beauty liquid lipstick in the shade Aphrodite. I grabbed the wrong one, <laughs> but Aphrodite is a gorgeous red lip. The Morphe liquid lip in Hot Shot. This one is a little bit more like orangey, but still super pretty and I love this color. Um, the Glam Light liquid lip in Red Velvet, if you have that. I'm sure there's others. I think even Laura Lee might have one but I am going in with the Jaclyn Cosmetics one. So now to finish this look, I'm just gonna go in with some Make It Forever Mist and Fix Setting Spray. I'm gonna spray my entire face. I don't have the Make It Forever one, but I have a Milani one. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I love how it turned out. I don't know how similar I look as far as makeup goes to Jaclyn, but I think my makeup looks so good and I'm very proud of myself. I am not a professional makeup artist at all. <laughs> I do makeup videos as my full-time job, my, you know, it's my living, but I'm not professionally trained or anything like that. I'm just like, you know, a normal person when it comes to makeup, but I just love makeup and I love trying new things and letting you guys know what's good and what's not. So I'm not as much a, a, like a teacher person as I am like a reviewer maybe, um, but it was super fun to kind of take a more instructional video and follow that for my own channel. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I'm going to go ahead and try to take a thumbnail now. We'll see how similar we look in the side by side, <laughs> but I will have all the products that I used in today's video linked down below in the description box in case you guys are interested in checking them out along with a link to Jacqueline's 
original video for all the, you know, technical tips and whatnot. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I love you guys so, so much. Happy early Valentine's Day. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I don't know why my voice got so high when I said Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.